long before there was an MCU, Quentin Tarantino was constructing his own cinematic universe. There's nothing that you're gonna say that's gonna make me forget that I love my wife, is there? Although, we're not sure how his R-rated Star Trek movie would fit in. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we'll be discussing how the Tarantino movies are connected. We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. Just so you know, if you haven't seen all of his films yet, there may be some spoilers ahead. So, you have been warned. From early on in his career, fans of Tarantino's work have been picking up on little details that seemingly connect his films together. In a 2016 interview with the Australian talk show The Project, Tarantino confirmed that his movies are indeed intertwined. Although it's a bit more complex than you might think. As Tarantino explains it, a majority of the films he's directed and written exist within the realer than real universe, while a select few take place in a separate movie universe. So, for example, Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction are both set in the realer than real universe. But if Vincent and Jules were to go to the movies, they'd see something like Kill Bill or From Dusk Till Dawn. The only film Tarantino has directed that is not part of either universe is Jackie Brown, which was an adaptation of the novel Rum Punch and thus sets itself in the Elmore Leonard universe. Coincidentally, another film set in the Elmore Leonard universe is Steven Soderbergh's Out of Sight, which sees the return of Michael Keaton as Ray Nicolette. Sorry, this is Special Agent Ray Nicolette with alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Oh, really? May I see some ID? Perhaps the most famous connection in the realer than real universe is between Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction and Mr. Blonde, also known as Victor Vega in Reservoir Dogs. It's no coincidence that they share a surname, as these criminals are brothers. Hmm. Well, that is one way to say it. Tarantino actually tinkered with the idea of a crossover movie about the Vega brothers, although it would have been tricky to pull off since both men die in their respective films. Plus, since actors John Travolta and Michael Madsen have obviously aged since the early 90s, a prequel wouldn't make much sense at this point either. In Reservoir Dogs, Vic also mentions that he has a parole officer named Seymour Scagnetti, who is presumably related to Jack Scagnetti in Natural Born Killers, which originated from a Tarantino screenplay. The Vegas aren't the only characters who bridge this universe together. Are you gonna bark all day, little doggy? Or are you gonna bite? In Django Unchained, a member of the Smitty Bacall gang is named Crazy Craig Coons. Crazy Craig Coons. And he happens to be an ancestor of Captain Coons, Christopher Walken's character in Pulp Fiction. Little man, I gave the watch to you. Pete Hickox, a member of the Domergo gang in The Hateful Eight, is the great-great-grandfather of Archibald Archie Hickox from Inglorious Bastards. Indeed. Speaking of the Bastards, Sergeant Donnie Donowitz, also known as the Bear Jew, is the father of film producer Lee Donowitz from True Romance, which Tarantino wrote. It's even been speculated that Jimmy's wife Bonnie in Pulp Fiction is the same nurse that Nice Guy mentions in a deleted scene from Reservoir Dogs, as well as the same Bonnie mentioned in True Romance. Or maybe Tarantino just really likes the name Bonnie. Plus, given their stunt backgrounds, we also wouldn't be surprised if there's a connection between Kurt Russell and Zoe Bell's characters in Death Proof and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Just to keep things extra interesting, the realer than real universe and the movie universe are separate, but that doesn't mean they can't intersect. Tarantino has described Winston Wolfe from Pulp Fiction as a crossover character who isn't relegated to a single universe, although we've yet to see him in another film. Now, you got a corpse in a car, minus a head in a garage. Take me to it. Kill Bill takes place in the movie universe, but Volume 2 contains a subtle reference to Django Unchained, which is set in the realer than real universe. When Bud is burying the bride alive, we can spot a grave that reads Paula Schultz. Although not confirmed, many believe she was bounty hunter Dr. King Schultz's late wife, or at least some sort of relation. So does that mean Schultz is a crossover character too? This seems like a good bit of fun. <laughs> Two characters who've repeatedly popped up in both universes are Texas Ranger Earl McGraw and his son, Edgar McGraw. Earl made his first appearance in From Dusk Till Dawn, which was written by Tarantino and directed by Robert Rodriguez. Although Earl dies in that film, this didn't stop him from resurfacing alongside Edgar in Kill Bill Volume 1. And we're talking the whole shebang. In Grindhouse, another collaboration between Tarantino and Rodriguez, 
Earl broke out the cowboy hat again in the Rodriguez-directed Planet Terror and shares another conversation with his son in the Tarantino-directed Death Proof. I could spend the same goddamn amount of time and energy falling the NASCAR circuit. The McGraws appear in From Dusk Till Dawn this series as well, although they're played by different actors. It's not what Earl taught me. Earl ain't here anymore. Arguably the most intriguing link between the realer than real universe and the movie universe lies within Mia Wallace's failed television pilot, Fox Force 5. Fox is in where a bunch of foxy chicks. Force is in where a force to be reckoned with. And five is in this one, two, three, four, five of us. As Mia tells Vincent in Pulp Fiction, the show would have centered on an all-female secret agent team. Whether it was intentional or not, the five members Mia describes bear a striking resemblance to the ladies of Kill Bill. There's a blonde leader named Somerset O'Neill, who could be El Driver, a Japanese kung fu specialist, i.e. Oren Ishii, an African-American demolitions expert, or Vernita Green, and a French fox who specializes in sex, i.e. Sophie Fatel. Finally, there's Mia's character, Raven McCoy, the deadliest woman in the world with a knife, not unlike Beatrix Kiddo. In addition to characters, Tarantino has created several fictional brands that have appeared across his cinematic universes. The fast food chain Big Kahuna Burger is most prominently displayed in Pulp Fiction when Vincent and Jules interrupt Brett's breakfast. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty burger. However, the chain is also referenced or visible in Reservoir Dogs, Death Proof, Four Rooms, From Dusk Till Dawn, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. A big kahuna bag even pops up in Robert Rodriguez's The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl, although we doubt that's part of any Tarantino universe. <laughs> Shark crazy! Rick Dalton stars in an ad for Red Apple Cigarettes in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But that is far from the first time this fictional cigarette brand has surfaced in a Tarantino movie. It's also featured in Pulp Fiction, From Dust Till Dawn, Four Rooms, Kill Bill, and The Hateful Eight. Another notable brand created by Tarantino is Geo Juice, which can be seen in both Death Proof and Kill Bill. And let's be honest, there isn't a Tarantino fan alive who hasn't wanted to bite into a tasty Big Kahuna burger and wash it down with Geo Juice. Spot. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Just to clarify, the realer than real universe doesn't exist in our universe per se, as Tarantino has rewritten history on more than one occasion. In Inglorious Bastards, Adolf Hitler doesn't commit suicide with Eva Braun. He gets shot, then blown to smithereens with a theater full of other Nazi party members. In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, actress Sharon Tate and her house guests aren't murdered by the Manson family. Instead, it's the three Manson family members who are killed by Rick Dalton, Cliff Booth, and a dog. Actually, considering Once and Bastards exist in the same universe, could Dalton's Nazi movie The Fourteen Fists of McCluskey be a recreation of the historical events that happened in Bastards? Hmm. What's more, Tarantino himself has acted as a constant presence in his movies. Over the years, he's appeared as Mr. Brown in Reservoir Dogs, Jimmy in Pulp Fiction, Chester in Four Rooms, Richard in From Dusk Till Dawn, Warren in Death Proof, and multiple characters in Django Unchained, just to name a few. Are all of these characters related somehow, or do they just so happen to look like Tarantino? Actually, there are quite a few actors Tarantino likes to cast regularly. So, like, is the Buddy Holly waiter played by Steve Buscemi in Pulp Fiction really Mr. Pink in disguise? Okay, at this point, we're probably overanalyzing things. So, as Vincent would say, I think we should be leaving now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.